Hey, it's Cindy, and today I'm sharing with you the truth about stress. In this video, you will learn a little bit about what stress is, the truth that I really want to share with you, and a little tip that will help you if you feel stressed in the near future. Hey everyone, it's Feel Good Friday and today I am sharing with you the truth about stress. My uh, aim today really is to share this tip, this truth with you so that you can learn what I learned a long time ago and, um, and I don't know why I forgot about it but it's a really important thing to know and I'm talking about stress at the moment because it is in fact Stress Awareness Month and I wanted to help promote that as well. So let's get into the video and we're going to talk about what is stress. So what is stress? Uh, it is primarily a physical response that we feel in our bodies. And the stress response we often call fight or flight as well. We experience it often as um, a racing heart and maybe our, um, our breathing rate will speed up. And what's actually happening is our blood's getting diverted away from non-essential uh, parts of our body and into our muscles to prepare us for action so that we can do the fight or flight thing. And it's also diverting blood away from things like our digestive system and our reproductive system so that we won't suddenly need to go to the loo in the middle of uh, our flight, for instance. So it's a very useful process that our body has to help us react to danger and things like that. The problem with that is we're experiencing stress a lot in our lives um, and we're not in danger most of the time when this stress is hitting and but it's causing all these reactions to happen in our bodies and when your blood's being diverted away to your muscles for you to do your fight or flight thing what means what it means is your your logical thinking becomes less clear because all that blood has gone away to do something else of course there's blood left there but you know what i mean um, there's not as much oxygen and nutrients going to that part of the brain that we need for making logical decisions and solving problems because it's all in our muscles ready for us to run away. So that's a little bit about what stress is. It's this physiological response that we experience in our bodies. Comment below yes or no. Have you experienced stress in the last month? I would love to know. And uh, I, I can say, you know, yes, I have experienced stress in the last month. So uh, please do comment below and let me know. OK, so that's our little bit about what stress is. So part two, I'm going to share with you the truth about stress. And this is something I learned from a video. It's a TED talk that I watched probably, I don't know, two years ago by a lady called Kelly McGonagall. You'd have to look her up. I'll link her um, blog below and I'll link to the TED, TEDx video. So um, she used to uh, share lots of information about how dangerous stress is for us and how it can um, cause us to die earlier and um, cause all sorts of physical problems in our bodies. And she was right. She was right to do that. But what happened was she saw a study that took place in the US over about eight years. And what they did is they asked people, um, you know, what level of stress they were experiencing in their lives. Were they experiencing stress? And, um, and they also asked them, did they believe it was harmful to their health? So it was interesting that there was a difference when they followed up eight years later to check, to check who had died from, you know, since they'd asked them about stress. It turned out that the people who believed that stress was harmful to their body had a 43% higher chance of dying eight years later, of being dead eight years later. But the people who had just as much stress, if not more, but did not believe that stress was harmful to their bodies, actually had a lower risk than the people who said they had no stress at all. So what it turned out was that it wasn't the stress that was killing people, that was making people ill and, and increasing their risk of dying earlier. What it actually meant means is that it's the belief that stress is bad for us that is what kills us. I mean, how crazy is that? So if it's the belief, well, that's brilliant, isn't it? Because we know, if you watch any of my videos, you know we can change that stuff. Beliefs are not set in stone. We can change that. 
So what she's saying in her video is that if we can change our mind, change how we think about stress, then we can change our body's actual physical response to stress. So it's not the belief, sorry, it's not the stress that's bad for us, it's the belief about stress. So I'm gonna share that video down below because it's really worth watching the whole thing and hearing all the stats about the studies and things. So uh, it's pretty amazing that um, the, the way we perceive stress can cause us to have a physical ailment. There are times when stress is gonna happen. And if we can change the way we think about that stress, then we're not gonna be having the same physical reactions. So for instance, um, we can get a, re a rise in cortisol that can cause us to have all sorts of problems in our bodies like increased blood pressure because our um, heart rate is increased but our blood vessels have actually um, got smaller. They've got, um, I can't think of the word, sort of compressed um, due to the, the stress response. And, and that actually means it's harder work for our hearts to pump all that blood around. But it's pumping faster to try and get us to um, to be able to run away. What happens when they, they did a study where they put people into a stressful situation and they trained some of the people to understand that the, it was their response to the stress, that it was how they thought about the stress that would cause them any problems and that actually the, what their body was doing was preparing them, then these people actually did not get this um, constriction of their blood vessels when they had the stress response in this situation they put them in and what that meant is when they looked at that it looked very similar to what happens in our bodies when we experience joy or courage so imagine if your body could react to stress in that way instead of in the way that we normally think it does that could be so amazing for everyone's health so that's the truth about stress. That's what I wanted to share with you. It's not the stress that's hurting you. It's not the stress that's bad for you. It's the way you interpret the stress response in your body. So let's move on to the last part, which is a little tip that you can use to help yourself. Okay, so how to help yourself with stress, the tip for today. So they did this study, it was a Harvard study, and they had this stress uh, situation they were putting people in which was they had to do a presentation that's right and they had a panel of people who had been briefed to give them really um, uncomfortable non-verbal cues like you know folding their arms and frowning and like, rolling their eyes and things like that to make them feel really really uncomfortable and they had lights on them and cameras and everything so you can imagine it's a really stressful situation but the people who had been who had explained to them that what their body was doing was preparing then it made it a lot less stressful. Well, it wasn't exactly less stressful, but their body had a better response to it, a much more healthy response. So here's what you can do. When you next experience stress, so your heart rate starts to go up and your breathing rate starts to go up and you feel that fight or flight kicking in. And it's quite hard to spot sometimes because we're used to living with quite high levels with stress. And um, we, we've got this kind of, um, immunity almost we don't notice the stress we're under the next time you do notice you're feeling stressed notice what your body's doing and actually think about that as your body being energized your body is energizing itself ready for action you've got your heart rate going up so that you can do what you need to do the blood's going to get around to your body where you need it your O2 levels are gonna go up because your breathing rate is a bit faster and that's gonna help your brain work better and it's gonna bring more oxygen into the whole of your body. Thinking about stress, the physical signs that we get and interpreting them as energizing as opposed to harmful. It's a really, really simple thing you can do but the first step of course is always to notice that you're stressed in the first place. If you do get stressed, if you have experienced any stress and you start to feel that coming up, remember, it's just your body preparing. It's just getting you ready to be able to deal with what you've got to deal with. And that's all it is. And uh, so hopefully that will help you. And, and I'm going to give that a go too. I'm always practicing what I preach, so I will be doing that as well. This is your action. Next time you're stressed, remember this video and remember what I've said about stress. That it's not the stress, it's your belief about stress. Your body is just preparing. I want you to do that because the point of these videos is for you to take action and make a change in your life. So that's the truth about stress. 
if you found that amazing if it blew your mind like it did mine comment below amazing as so i'd love to know if you thought it was as cool as i do if you've got some stress and you want to get rid of it right now then make sure you watch this video next because in this video i share a tip a tool that you can use and it will definitely reduce your stress levels instantly so make sure you watch that video if you haven't already do make sure you've subscribed and i'll speak to you in the next video have a fabulous day